Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce Dupree. Well, last night we had a round of rain with some uh, loud thunder in parts of the state. And then today we had some snow, especially in the uh, northwest hills. Audrey sent in this picture from uh, Goshen showing the uh, snow coming down and the snow cover on the ground. And we still got a couple of uh, flurries in the state right now, especially out there around uh, Plymouth. And now and then a flurry or snow shower will make its way into the state tonight and during the day tomorrow with a colder northwesterly flow. As far as highs go today, we were in the 40s. In fact, 48 was the high in uh, New Haven and also in Groton today. Not bad for early January. Hartford was 45 and Windsor Locks was 41, but it's going to be a while before we see temperatures like this. Again, there's our ICAM in Hartford where we have a brisk wind out there and it is turning colder. There's our ICAM in New London where it's windy and we're going to be dealing with the wind uh, not only tonight, but for tomorrow and Friday as well as the air turns progressively colder. And of course, with the colder air coming in, we're going to be dealing with colder wind chills too. So right now it's 40 in Hartford, 43 in New Haven. That's the warm spot. We're already in the 30s in Windsor Locks, Western Connecticut, even Willimantic and Putnam have dipped into the 30s. And we still got that pretty brisk wind out of the northwest. The average wind speed of Windsor Locks is 20 miles an hour, and that's where it feels like 27 degrees. So wind chills right now are in the 20s and 30s. But as we go through the coming days, they're going to be dipping down to uh, the single digits and perhaps even uh, sub-zero in parts of the state by Friday morning. All right, as far as the air goes, it's turning colder. Hartford is 40, Albany is 36, Syracuse is 29, Binghamton is 26. So that trend downward will continue for the next uh, couple of days. And we can see a big storm right over coastal Maine causing snow up in Maine now. And some of that's pretty heavy. We got the snow showers across the Great Lakes and occasionally a little bit of that activity makes its way into Connecticut. So Futurecast shows just that, partly to mostly cloudy skies tonight. and. Tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sun with that chance for a passing flurry or snow shower, but primarily dry as we go through the day tomorrow. And then as high pressure moves a little closer on Friday, we'll have more in the way of sunshine, but it's still going to be uh, brisk and rather cold. So uh, low temperatures tonight, later on, 20s to near 30, wind chills in the teens tomorrow morning, and your highs for tomorrow in the 30s, mid 30s inland and uh, mid to upper 30s along the I-95 corridor. But the wind chill tomorrow morning is going to be in the teens and 20s. And as we go through lunchtime, wind chills in the teens and low 20s. And as we go into uh, tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., wind chills in the single digits and teens, they'll go even lower than that come uh, tomorrow night on into Friday morning. So here's your 70 forecast Friday, 27 and windy. A lot of sunshine, then down to seven on the thermometer Friday night. Saturday, partly sunny with increasing clouds in the afternoon and 25. And Sunday, we're still saying there's a chance for a light snowfall. Some models are saying it's a miss. Others are giving us some light snow. So that's still something we have to keep an eye on over the coming days. Then Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday look generally quiet with chilly weather for the shoreline. Tomorrow we're going for a high of 37 degrees and it's going to be quite windy.